This quick tip is about the other mixers that Cubase has. So we all know the mix console, but in fact, Cubase has three mix consoles. So as we can see here at the moment, we've got kind of a mixed console. It's got the inputs on there, multiple inputs, etc., which are just set up as a bit of a fake, and then all these other channels, which are part of the project as well. But what we can do is make use of the different mixers which are available to make this a bit easier to navigate. So using a previous tip of channel type filters, so we can turn the inputs off on this one. So this will be our main mixing mixer, as it were. But then if we go to Mix Console 2, what we can do is set that to only be input channels. So this becomes our input mixer. So when we do want to record, we can just open up the input mixer and be concerned with that. And if you're on a large screen or you've got multiple monitors, it can be nice to move this so you know that your input mixer is wherever. And with a third mixer, you can extend that again. So maybe the third mixer could be your groups if you've got a large session with multiple groups, etc. That kind of thing. The world is your oyster, but by, so by taking the channel filter element of there and then using these multiple mixers, you can make use of them. And remember that allocating a keyboard shortcut, so keyboard command for these something which extends from f3 something that's sensible for you to allow you to access them quickly and just getting in the muscle memory of using that will make life much easier and you'll be able to just access the controls you want really quickly without any fuss so that's your quick tip for today <laughs> <laughs>